It's no secret, I really enjoy the Aquas. I love the contemporary design. I think it's very strong. It's different, but not just for the sake of being different or being out there. I think there is some real strength to it. There is a real draw to this design for me. Lovely dial details, excellent bracelet, sharp color play. Again, I think it's strong. Is it the best value for money? No, I would say it's not. There are definitely areas for improvement with this watch, but I think a good watch, it's more than the sum of its specs. Like you can find a watch out there that carries great specifications at a low price, uh, but it doesn't have a great design. It's not a, it's not a very satisfying product. You don't make that emotional connection. Logically, it makes sense, but it just leaves you cold and uh, you don't want to spend $500 on it. And then conversely, there's a watch, you know, at $2,000 that might not have the best bezel action, that might not have the uh, best value when it comes to the movement selection or regulation or anything like that. But man, as a package, it is strong, it is alluring, it is great. And I think the Aquas Date kind of fits into that category. This is a watch that I recommend when someone says, Bruce, I want a great watch. My budget is about $2,000. Most of the time I say, hey, look at the Aquas. It's not the best value for money, but it is one of the best purchases, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm not the best at explaining sometimes uh, the ideas I have in my brain, but I hope you guys followed that. Now, this watch was lent in by Oris USA. I'd like to thank them. They've been great to work with. I'm under no obligation to be favorable, so we're going to talk about the good. We're going to talk about the bad. We're going to talk about the details and let's start with the dimensions. 41.4 millimeters of diameter is what I measure with my digital calipers. We have 48 millimeters lug to lug length, 13 millimeters height with a dramatic taper on this integrated bracelet design, 23 at the angular lugs down to 16 millimeters uh, where the mill clasp uh, connects the two portions of the bracelet together. Now I know some of you guys, you don't enjoy an integrated bracelet. You like swapping out the bracelet for a rubber or a leather or a NATO or a Perlon or a sailcloth or whatever your flavor is that day. And you're just not going to be able to do that with the Oris Aquas date to the degree that you may like. You're limited to custom options or original equipment manufacturer options in which Oris does a great job with their rubber strap, with their leather strap, with their bracelets. I'm a bracelet guy. You guys know that. And when an integrated bracelet is done really well, it's such a satisfying thing. And I don't feel the need to want to swap out to a rubber or a leather or a NATO or a Perlon or whatever, you know, whatever your flavor is that day. So I think the Aquas Date is an example of a really great integrated bracelet. I like the fact that the links are fully articulating. They have a teardrop cross section when you're looking at the side profile. And I like the fact that the finish is a little bit different from the traditional. We have the high polish on the outer edges of the links and then the center link is the brushed finish and I like that. I like the drape. I like the light play. I like the taper. Uh, the Aqua State, again, if you guys can't tell, I'm a big fan of. I've owned several over the years. I think, um, let's see, the most recent one was the Lake Baikal and that one was just stunning, sharp, beautiful. The Fume, the Tones of Blue, was just such oh, such a fun watch. Now, I've also reviewed the latest in-house version with the Caliber 400. I think that one was very striking visually, and I think the, the movement is very promising when it comes to what Oris is offering. I think the most dynamic one, the most beautiful Oris Aquas that I've seen has been the limited edition Hangang, which the green... Man, this green shade is unlike any other that I've seen. And I have a thing for green dialed watches. Uh, my most worn watch is my Rolex Hulk. And I think that one is my favorite. But uh, man, this Oris Hungong, I think, I think is the best green outside of the Hulk that I've tried. And I've tried some real stunners from, uh, let's say, Glass Huta Original and Tag Heuer. So anyways, I'm kind of getting on a side tangent Oris works with color very well, and I like the Aquas. I think it's a very strong watch. I like the dimensions of this new cherry dial configuration. I'm partial to the 43 millimeter size personally, just with my wrist size, with how I like the Aquas date to sit on my wrist and, uh, you know, the heft, the presence. But I think most of you will say that the 41.5 is the way to go. It's more manageable than the 43, but it's more 
ah, it's more dominant than some of the smaller color versions. I think it will hit that sweet spot. And most of you will be excited for the fact that Oris, this independent brand headquartered in the German speaking region of Switzerland, is paying more attention to the 41.5 millimeter size. Now the cherry dial, this is unlike any other red dial that I've seen on the market. And there really isn't a whole lot of uh, other red dials on the market, especially for a dive watch. I think the Orient Camusu comes closest. That's a lovely burgundy dial. That's a watch that I've owned, that I've reviewed, that I'm very favorable on. Uh, but this cherry, man, this is something else. So let's go in on the dial on a macro level. I think this, I think this best illustrates how sharp this dial is. So obviously we have a sunray finish and then there is just a wide range of hues that you get depending on the light situation that you're in. In some lights, you see burgundy, you see a deep blood, it's borderline black. And then in other lights, in direct light, you really see the vibrant hues of, of red coming through and you're seeing that color play off of the sun ray. <laughs> there is a lot going on. It's really exciting. It's really satisfying, but it's not only that. This watch also carries a lacquered reflective finish. So on this high level of magnification, you can see the reflections of the handset. So there's a lot going on. And I like that because watch collecting for me is not a logical thing. It's an emotional hobby where, hey, I either connect with that watch or it leaves me cold and I'm not interested in it. And I think that's one of the reasons why I like the Oris Aquas is I connect with it. I like the design. I identify with the contemporary design elements, the repetition of form when it comes to the lugs, when it comes to the angular handset, the faceted applied markers, the way this fits, the way that Oris works with bold colors, the details, the light play, <laughs> the bracelet with me being a bracelet guy. So again, I don't want this, I don't want this to sound like an advertisement. I am a little bit biased, yes, but let's talk about the negative elements. There is definitely room for improvement on this model. I think the big one, most of you will agree with me, is the Aura 733 caliber, which is within this Aquas date. This is essentially a base grade Solita SW200-1. It's not finished very well. It's not particularly accurate. It's a regulated window for acceptable daily deviation is minus five seconds to plus 20 seconds per day. Now in actuality, I've never had one that's more than plus 10. And I've tried multiple Aquas, Diver 65, Big Crown Pointer Date. I've had some experience with this brand and I've never gotten more than plus 10, but it's possible you could buy one, get plus 19, and it would be within spec. And that is really disappointing when you're spending around $2,000 on a Swiss watch. And it also illustrates the point that I made earlier where you can find a watch at a lower price that has better specs, but is it a, uh, is, it a, is it a better package? Does that make sense? So I think, I think the leader here in the affordable segment is probably the Swatch Group when it comes to their modified ETA calibers that sometimes carry silicon, that carry an 80 hour power reserve, a lower beat frequency uh, that can be finished to a very sharp degree. I think most of them are actually finished very similar to this uh, 733, this Solita, but uh, there is definitely better watches out there or at least better calibers out there at lower prices. But you have to ask yourself, what is the overall package like and how much do you value movement or regulation or finish. I think the biggest negative for me is not actually the movement here, because again, in day-to-day -day situations, the uh, Solita runs very accurately. No, I think the biggest negative is actually the crystal, the lack of anti-reflective treatment. In natural light, man, I, I could almost not see this lovely cherry dial because of the crisp defined reflections. They're almost mirror-like. They're very distracting. And uh, Oris definitely needs to step it up here in this uh, section of the watch. It's really far behind some other models. I really like the uh, Longines Hydro Conquest. That has excellent layers of anti-reflective treatment on the top as well as the underside of the crystal. And this Oris Aquas would go up to another level, in my opinion, if they uh, really enhanced the clarity and minimized the defined reflections on the crystal. Now, just in closing, let me sample the tactile elements of the watch. I'm going to be quiet so you guys can hear what the bezel sounds like, what the crown sounds like, and what the clasp action is like.
So overall, very solid, appropriate for the price, but not class leading at its price segment. Overall, I, I really like this watch. I like the color play. Uh, it's not been my favorite Aquas. I think my top two at the moment are that Hong Kong and the Lake Baikal, but this is up there. This is probably top five, top six, in my opinion. And I'm looking forward to what Oris does in the future with uh, more Aquas releases and perhaps we can see them take the in-house caliber 400 and place it within a 41.5 millimeter Aquas date. I think that would be pretty well received uh, amongst us in the watch enthusiast community. So guys, thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. Please let me know if you have any specific questions. I'll do my best to try to help. Thank you to Oris USA for lending this one in. And I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you real soon.